Hello everyone, this is JPL back for another reaction video, and today I'll be reacting to the trailer for the second uh, part of the season three of Star Wars Rebels. Now, <clears throat> um, I saw that this thing came out and I wanted to make a reaction video to it. Normally I wouldn't do something like this, but I really, really just wanted just to talk and talk and talk about how disappointing Rebels is to me. It has the potential to be a great series, but it doesn't go that far. Um, so, Rebels as a TV series, it's not bad. It's not all that bad. I mean, there's some... It's... Okay. Um, the things I don't really like about Rebels is the usage of the characters and the cliche writing. And also how a lot of the characters are just caricatures and they don't use those characters. I don't like how they don't use the characters. And secondly, the animation. Um, I feel like they spend way too much time animating the characters moving when they're talking like this all the time. It's the most annoying thing ever. And also the animation for the lightsaber. I know that they're trying to go with the Ralph McQuarrie design, but I'm not a big fan of just that pointy lightsaber. I just want an actual normal bladed lightsaber, okay? Okay. Um, it's raining behind me. I've got popcorn. Um, and also, it's a bit of bias because Rebels replaced my favorite series, The Clone Wars. And so, yeah, anyway, let's just get started in 3, 2, 1, click. All right. First season, Grand Animal Thrawn saved it. So, we have Obi Wan's voice. No holograms. Okay. Hmm. The Empire is hiding something, something important. Saga, uh, they can't keep it hidden. Death Troopers. I just hope it won't be too late. Hmm. There's a rebel spying on me. Code name Falcon. We're building an alliance. This is our rebellion. Okay. So we're getting more of the rebels uniting. That's what I wanted to see in season one. And it's exactly this moment I've been waiting for. Welcome home. I should let them know we're coming so they don't shoot us down. <laughs> That's funny. I wait. You're not kidding. Right? Your rebels. Yep, yeah, Mandalorians. your mother to help the rebels all of mandal might follow you in the galaxy once people know you have it you will be challenged i think you must use all your skills together yeah they're giving too much of the plot especially for this episode here i'm fighting for you and everyone else not to lose what they've got okay my friends make the impossible possible Come on, bust some buckets. We will show the galaxy what I saw all of the Easter eggs in um against the Emperor. The Rogue One movie. We'll never surrender to you, Thrawn. I'm not accepting surrenders. I want utter hmm. crashing down upon you. Yeah, you're 
There's too much stuff that you're showing us here. I feared that would happen. That Obi-Wan would be part of the show. Which, yeah, Obi-Wan being part of the show, I don't mind it, but, you know, it just feels like they're shoehorning him just because he's a popular character. Now, I know that he's part of a special arc, and that's all done, but Rebels is getting really close to making a really, really big problem with um, Star Wars universe and that's the fact is that they should never call Obi-Wan Kenobi Obi-Wan Kenobi not Obi-Wan Kenobi because in A New Hope he has a line that says Obi-Wan Kenobi that's a name I haven't heard since all before you were born and that makes sense the last time we heard his him being called Obi-Wan Kenobi was by Yoda you know, during that time period. And so, having, you know, a few years before Luke comes to him, and him being called Obi-Wan Kenobi, I think that's just a very bad idea. And it's just, for me, gonna be really mad at Rebels. A lot more mad than I am for some of the usage of the characters. <sighs> and, you know, it makes me feel like they don't they don't they're not even actually looking at Star Wars. I know Dave Filoni that he's he's a smart guy. I'm sure that he you know might have a way where they might not call him Obi-Wan Kenobi. That they just might call him just Kenobi, which makes sense. And just have it be Darth Maul v Kenobi. Don't have the other characters meet him. And if they do that, then they'll call him Obi-Wan. And then that makes a big plot hole for A New Hope when Obi-Wan talks about when when so long since he's last heard that name. So, yeah, that's my problem for that. Um, they're bringing in Saw Gerrera. I know about that. I'm glad about that. Um, they're linking more Clone Wars and the movies together, which I think is a good idea, but, you know, sometimes I feel like they're just going to shoehorn characters and not make them drawn out, but Dave Filoni, since he worked on Clone Wars and he knows that character well, then I, I just hope that they'll make him justice to what he was, and it looks like we're on Geonosis again, not sure how I feel about that, but, anyway, I will actually make a review on all the seasons of Rebels in a few months actually after I'm done reviewing Clone Wars so s subscribe to my main channel right now is my secondary channel but go to my main channel link in the description below and um yeah uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time